Good evening, everybody. This is meteorologist Andrew Pinero outside for this week's weather podcast. So it's beautiful out right now. I'm going to put up some images now of the sky. I sent up the drone a little bit earlier. We have some beautiful shots of some just few passing clouds, otherwise nice clear skies. These are some shots I also took just before with the camera. It's really nice out right now, and this weather is not going to be leaving us anytime soon. So let's talk about that. We have high pressure in place, and this high pressure is going to be with us for a while. So we have a clear night tonight, a nice sunny day tomorrow, and we're going to be seeing sunny conditions pretty much throughout the weekend and even going into Monday and Tuesday of next week. This high has pretty much just planted itself right over us, and it's going to be giving us beautiful weather. So that's why I decided to come outside. I'm not going to be showing you any of the forecast models just because they're all showing the same thing and the just high pressure in the area with nothing really to show is kind of boring to look at. So I'm not really going to be showing that for you guys. What I am going to show you though is that drone footage. So it's beautiful and we're going to be seeing this throughout the next couple of days with the cool temperatures as well. Besides the sunny conditions, we're also going to be seeing or feeling much cooler conditions. It's going to feel kind of like uh, getting into mid to late September. The high temperatures for this, uh, the end of this week and going into the weekend will be in the upper 70s. And some of the nights, the overnight low is going to be in the upper 50s. So that's why we're going to be seeing September-like temperatures. But I'm not complaining. I like that type of temperature. But if you want the summer, we're not really going to be seeing those summer-like temperatures until we get later on next week. The next rain chance, it looks like, is going to be from most areas, not till Tuesday. On Sunday, it's going to be mostly sunny for the vast majority of the tri-state region, but we are going to be seeing, maybe once you get out to the Twin Forks in Long Island, maybe just a spot shower in the afternoon, but that's really it. That, ah, there's a bug. That's really it. It looks like we're going to be having these beautiful conditions all areas. And then Tuesday, we will be seeing some overnight cloudiness and maybe a bit more clouds later in the afternoon. Tuesday, ahead of a bit more shower and maybe some periods of rain for Wednesday. But that's really it. We have an almost full week of nice weather ahead. So if you have any plans for the outdoors, if you were going to do any painting, repay, uh, resealing a driveway or anything, we have a nice stretch of clear weather and it's not going to be hot weather. So it's going to be the perfect time to get outside and do anything outdoors. Also, if you want to do, I know it's early, but if you want to do some kind of fall cleanup, dare I say that word, you can get outside and kind of clean up some of the leaves out there. It's going to be dry enough to nice, do some nice raking without it getting soggy. So it's overall going to be a very, very pleasant week coming up. So now let me show you here. Right over here we have tonight's forecast temperatures getting down into the 60s, mostly clear overall. For tomorrow, it's going to be a beautiful, nice, sunny day, and we're going to be seeing temperatures maybe right around the upper 70s to only about 80 degrees. Otherwise, it's going to be in the 70s throughout most of the area. Tomorrow night's going to be much like tonight. We're going to be seeing temperatures even getting down a little bit more into the low 60s, maybe the upper 50s in some regions. And then here's the seven-day forecast where we're seeing beautiful conditions throughout almost all of the week. Then again, maybe an isolated shower Sunday afternoon for eastern areas. Once you get to the Twin Forks and Suffolk County of Long Island, that's pretty much it. We have this nice stretch of weather and it's going to be cool September-like, like I was mentioning with the temperatures in the mid to upper 70s for almost the entire next week until we get to Wednesday when we're going to start seeing a bit more cloud cover and then we're going to be seeing late in the day maybe a spot shower. So this is meteorologist Andrew Panero with the beautiful conditions. A little bit different weather podcast just because it's so beautiful outside I wanted to get on out. So I have with the camera update as well. I got a nice rig set up here with a side handle. I got a top mounted battery. I have um, XLR uh, I have wire for the microphone going into the camera so I don't have to worry about in post syncing up the audio and video which does save a little bit more time. Much more convenient to have the audio stream straight into the video of the camera while it's capturing. And the once you get a little bit more technical with cameras, the preamp of this camera is not too bad. And it takes, I have the uh, XLR to 
3.5 millimeter jack going in and it's holding up pretty well and the side handle of this cage that I have the camera in is very nice and it's very convenient to be able to travel with and we have kind of both hands holding the camera as you're turning around so that's giving it much more stable conditions and it's going to be much easier to get a stable shot as you're kind of panning around. Of course, if you do want to get even more stable shots, there are gimbals available for these cameras. Even for some of the bigger ones, like the Canon 5D Mark IV, you can get really big gimbals, but that gets really expensive as well. I personally don't really need that with this kind of setup, but they are available out there if you are trying to look at getting some YouTube channel started or anything like that. So again, this is meteorologist Andrew Panero. If you want to see more weather podcasts and weather updates, click that little subscribe button below. If you're looking on Twitter or Facebook, definitely give me a like and a follow, and I'll keep you guys updated with the weather forecast. Have a great evening, everybody, and enjoy the beautiful weather that we have for almost an entire week ahead. Have a great evening.